We got a lot of stuff in the works. We got Halloween costumes, multiple ones. This is We're shooting a cool video as well. One of them is going to be a really fun video. You know, it's cool for you, but this is something <laughs> that I dreaded always in a relationship. One of my exes, she loved Halloween so much mm -hmm. and she had to go out to every single party for like 2 weeks of Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I used to love Halloween. I love getting into character for the videos and stuff. It gives us like a new theme and stuff. Like I got the pumpkin there. I got the pumpkin spice candle. You know, it makes. I'm proud of you. I think even just that is huge. You know, you're, you're doing what you can. Yeah. Can we change this to orange? Can we do that? Can you do it from back there? Or do you? You know, when you ask them to do stupid ass shit like that in their head, they're just like, fuck, fuck this, this motherfucker. motherfucker. No, Oscar likes this. He's flexing that we could change this You're light. Like, Oscar likes this. <laughs> Oscar, tell us how much you he like it. He loves showing off our tech. Look at that. Wow, we had Oscar. it pink to make you feel more at home, but now it's orange. I want to play. So do you think you like Halloween more now as an adult, or did you like it more as a kid? I actually think that I, I got into it m at more of an adult, kind of when I got money, because like growing up poor, obviously it wasn't like I could do a lot like with Halloween. And but free candy, that's enough for yeah. me to love it. I, yeah, I, like as a kid, love free candy, but now I just, I love it so much. Like I, I love to dress up. I love to just like do crazy shit. The little trick-or-treaters. I hope I get trick-or-treaters this year. Did you decorate your house? Um, The inside a little. Should I decorate the outside? Yeah, if you want trick-or-treaters to come. They're not going to come. Put a little pumpkin out. Put some spider webs in the in the bushes and stuff. Oh my hang god! It from your palm trees. I really think I'm in my grandma era. Like I just thought about the idea of sitting at home and just handing out candy to kids, and that sounds so fun. Yeah, I feel like your house is a little hard for kids to get to. Yeah, you're up on the top of the Hollywood Hills. Thanks Where for flexing Will, for me, big Will dog. Smith's kids are going to come by and <laughs> knock on your door. That's what I'm hoping. Hey, Jaden. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, nah, ain't nobody coming to your house, especially with no decorations outside. I'm gonna decorate. get an Airbnb. I'm gonna. De oh my god, just get a fucking like <laughs> shitty Airbnb just to do it. Oh my god, I don't think Halloween's the same for kids out in Hollywood. Like where I was growing up in yeah. Staten Island, it was more like it's the city, but there's also it's like Staten Island has suburbs and. No, I think you're out of touch. People are poor. Okay, yeah, well, I'm sa I said Hollywood. I didn't say in the entire state of California. <laughs> I just said over here in the Hollywood Hills, people are fucking trick or treating and sending That's their kids so around. True. It's like, all kids influencers. Kids are getting iPads and shit, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's like the hype house and the sway house and all this shit. It's like there's nobody yeah. knocking on those doors for. They, they just want pictures of Bryce Hall, you know. Nobody wants candy, <laughs> especially going to those houses. You'd probably get a fucking weird tinfoil thing, with fentanyl in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to trick or treat at those houses anyway. Oh, banger joke. You're getting it. You're getting into it. You're getting into you it. You want to know something crazy? When yeah. I lived in Staten Island, there was this house that every year they would go all out for Halloween, mm -hmm. like 100K in decorations, which was like a big deal for, you know, not in Hollywood Hills. This house would have fucking like performers like a, they had this michael myers guy and on halloween night was when it was just chaos everybody mm -hmm. in Staten i would go to this one house mm -hmm. and it was like two blocks away from where i grew up so i go there with my boys probably like 16 17 Strapped at the up. time <laughs> yeah, Strapped up ready to hit a fucking, lick yeah that. troublemakers we probably had eggs in our pockets and like yeah. sacks of flour going to have beefs and stuff because we would have all-out wars yeah. with eggs and really try to like pelt each other with eggs yeah. it was such a dumb thing that, that we did, sounds but so fun can we do that yeah egg we, war in the street continue you want to just go against strangers or you want to go against like another podcast i kind of want to go against each other should we challenge like bffs no like i want to take out my physical we anger on it. you oh, like, i yeah. want to fight with you i throw an egg right at dave portnoy's eye oh my god <laughs> nail him in the fucking that that would be fucked up to do no let's not do that because <laughs> <laughs> Continue though. So you you're on your way to this house. So we go there looking for trouble, right? But mm. I'm a punk kid. I'm probably 15 years old, 14 years old. So I go down there and we're we're fucking around. You know, we're causing trouble. Mm -hmm. And this big Michael Myers guy comes over with a knife and he starts fucking jabbing me up with his knife. And like a fake knife. Yeah, with a fake knife. But all Michael Myers, you know, they look legit. They look scary. You know, you see this yeah. guy with the mask on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever watched those Halloween mm -hmm. movies or something. You might be too young. I just watched the new one. Well, they make a new one every year, so you know what they are. Well, I'm sorry I'm not fucking old Jeff. Are you scared of Michael Myers? No, I weirdly am sexually attracted to him. Fuck. And I kind of think... <laughs> I kind of I kind of think that in life at some point I need to have someone put on a Michael Myers mask and fuck me like it's borderline a fetish <laughs> oh no no that's not and good Paige, for this Paige and I were talking about this she agrees she agrees other people agree Brooke agrees there's something hot about Michael Myers what about Jeffrey Dahmer do you want would you fuck him too or just the guy the actor Evan Peters 
Um, is that why you're, is that inspo from, what the fuck is the world coming to? <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, I didn't put on the glasses to pay homage to Michael, or to Jeffrey Dahmer. But um, Okay, so honestly, stick to Michael though, Myers. Stick to Michael Myers here. This but is, most hot serial killers have a slight fuckability to me. Okay, he wears a mask because his face was all burned up. So if he takes off that mask, you would be disgusted by him. You'd throw up and, and he would just would murder I, you. I love a little, a couple little scars. Look at you. <laughs> Michael Myers. Don't compare me to Michael Myers. The fuck. Michael kidding. Myers would stab you up your right in your titties. Like he stabs Myers. the girls right in their titties. Like in the beginning, the first one. All I'm hearing is, and... is knife play. Oh <laughs> my god. Well, you think it's all fun kidding. and games. You think it's hot or whatever. And I'm such a dumb little pick me. I'd be like, no, I'm different. He doesn't want to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'd fucking die. For yeah, sure. hell yeah. <laughs> For yeah, sure. you're done. I know it's it's a problem. It's for sure. But the, I just yeah, there there's something hot about Michael Myers. Yeah, well, not in my situation. You know, okay. I, I'm. So you weren't like bricked up. No, fuck no. <laughs> I was pissed off because this guy fucked me up. He started stabbing me with this knife. He's poking me with this fucking fake blade, and it's starting to hurt because this guy's a big guy, and he's like right on top of me, jamming me with this knife, yeah. and then he just throws me on the floor. <gasps> So, of course, my friends start fucking around, pushing him and shit. We're trying to fight him back, but he's connected with all the haunted house people and the security. So, we had to let it go. We had beef. Like Pennywise here. comes out with a Glock. Yeah, all these motherfuckers backing him yeah. up. You got Freddy Krueger now. All these yeah. goons are coming out after us. So, we're like, all right, this yeah. is a mismatch. We're out. We're fucking done here. We're cursing at him, throwing, throwing shit, throwing mm. our eggs, and then we bounce. So, I'm like... Why the fuck did this grown man just attack me and just single me out? Is yeah. this the real Michael Myers? <laughs> did I just fucking run into the real guy? So it turns out this guy that was in the Michael Myers costume, I had beef with his little brother and we had a beef at a Sweet 16. So that's why? So it stemmed back from that. He was in costume and he didn't let me know who he was. Oh, but wow. But he was getting revenge for his little brother. And this guy's like 21 years old beating up on 15 year old me with his plastic blade. You know what? I'm, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm getting pissed off. I want to go back and get revenge now. You're so like that. Like you eternally will want revenge on anyone who's ever hurt you. It's I so know. funny. I know. Staten Island Halloween sounds dark. <laughs> it's rough. Do you want to go there for it? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Or you got all these plans let's now. No, I mean, Jeff, I'll follow you anywhere. Let's go. Damn, um, that brought up some childhood trauma. <laughs> I'm really a... sorry you went through that. All right, enough I'm about serious. this stupid Michael Myers movie. They're played out. Until there is just something odd about it. I'm not even Edward Scissorhands. Like finger me. I understand that one. Yeah. Because he was just an innocent, innocent little Johnny Depp. Yeah, that's who had fair. scissors for hands, you know, yeah. and he made the best Scissor of it. Things. Yeah, I got a special bond with Edward Scissorhands because <laughs> he was cutting hair and he was misunderstood, and it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like me, you know. You think you're so misunderstood? Maybe I just understand you because I'm also like, but like you're misunderstood too. Yeah, Jeff loves to tell me. That's literally how he introduces me to people. This is Tana. I love her. She's got a bad rep. <laughs> she's got a bad rep. Everybody thinks she's a whore, but she's actually just a she's non she angel. is also she's also a good person. And a whore. <laughs> and a whore. Yeah, no, see I'm me. Been, I'm, I'm an angelic virgin. Episode sixty nine. I'm really. I wish this was a couple weeks ago. I'm mm -hmm. really. That like, zipper's going lower and lower as the episode goes on. I haven't lowered it one time. Viewer retention. I haven't lowered it one time. Keep so you're just watching. looking? You're, he's just, now you. Yeah. But no, I'm like, you know, I'm like a tough guy, but I also got a sweet, sensitive side. I get vulnerable. I cry sometimes, you know, but you? sometimes I got beef with Halloween characters. <laughs> and I remember those stories for decades. 